So there's, there's aspects of um, U.S. history that other people would consider very obscure that are now about 1619 or something like that. Okay, other cultures ha pick through. You know, there's there's about 100 billion people who've ever lived. Okay, so you can pick through 100 billion lifetimes to find those things that kind of support your case. And so, what is China? What's big in China? The Opium Wars. Do you know what the Opium Wars were? Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, like you know, th whether it's the British or actually the the Americans were allied with them at one point. This is called Eight Nations Alliance. Um, to essentially fight to deal drugs in China for profit and like addict the the population to it. So and that yeah, it's pretty easy to paint that as like the bad guys were coming in to try to get everyone addicted to drugs. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And so so essentially, this stuff which is not stressed in the West is big over there, really big, right? Where and it's like some tiny thing that you kind of hear about. It's here. it's a footnote in a, in a history book here, but it's like a huge front page daily. It's even it, still, because yes, because like they have like we remember shirts, like kind of thing. It's politically useful. Right? Of course. And so I talk about a lot of this in the book, which is essentially, you know, you will essentially each regime will have propaganda that is useful to it that is not useful to the other side. Right. And uh, so it's not so much usually sometimes what they say is false. Sometimes what they say is true. It's just not useful to the side. So it doesn't even acknowledge it. Right. And so what, what, while the bigger in the opium wars, they don't really talk too much about Mao and the Great Leap Forward and all that stuff. They'll say Mao was seven parts good and three parts bad. Why? Well, at least he unified the country and he kicked out the Japanese. Okay, that's the, well, you know, and he's good for that, right? Uh, you know, he, he didn't have to do it quite that way. The, you know, he was, there were many other problems with that, but that's, sugar -coated. that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very sugar-coated. Very yeah, sugar-coated, yeah, yeah. extremely yeah. sugar-coated. They killed right? a few people. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what's, what's, Everyone's going to kill a few people. Well, what's interesting about it, exact, exactly, right? So what's interesting about it is there's actually three very different groups that are all invested in that idea that China is, quote, communist. The first is the Chinese Communist Party itself, right, which wants to maintain that Deng's coup in the 1970s was, like, like continuous, right? That it was still the same same thing, right? Uh, the second are many Republicans who want to say, "Oh, the Chinese Communist Party," you know, right? Mm. And the third are many <laughs> tankies who project onto China. Look how good it's gone. Yeah, th exactly. Th right. So, whereas really, what they are is ultra nationalist. You know, they they do use communist-y stuff. They are doing like the so-called common prosperity doctrine, where they're going after lots of rich guys, and so, but. But yeah, that's like the Alibaba guy and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So, Wasn't it that he sort of, he had all these opinions and then like he disappeared for two months he and got he a came little, back and he was like, I got a little I'm too big for his britches. That's and right. Then, uh, so, so disappeared one, him. One way, exactly. So one way of thinking about it is communism is whatever the Chinese Communist Party says it is, okay? And um, what that means is basically, um, you know, they're at the center of a network and... Uh, you know, you, you could be, uh, you know, it could be Xinjiang, it could be uh, Taiwan, it could be Hong Kong, it could be Falun Gong, you know, which is like a religious movement. It could be the tech, you know, libertarianish capitalists of Jack Ma. It could be, um, you know, Bo Xi Li, who's like, who's an ultra Maoist and, and so on and so forth. There's various kinds of deviations from their center of opinion. Some are to the left, some are to the right, some are to the libertarian, right? Doesn't matter. Anything that deviates too far is not communist.